and the Canadian Open Sand Sculpting Competition, which runs at Parksville's Community Park until September 3rd. These sculptors travel the world to compete. Some events have a theme, but this one is wide open. I worked out mine last week, and I'm going to be doing, uh, hopefully, if it all comes apart, a uh, little castle, tall, uh, tall castle at the top, um, coming down with a walkway, and uh, the box that's not done, any done yet is going to be a, dra uh, a knight sitting on a dragon. But things don't always go as planned, especially when the medium is sand. So I'm still going to try and do the dragon and hopefully pull out a, a, a small castle tomorrow. Uh, we're running out of time now, but uh, we'll see what we can do with this. There are two categories of competition, soloist, of which there are 15 this year, and team. This year there are three. The top prize in the team category is $6,700. Judges are looking for height. They're looking for uh, how they use the space they've been given, how they use the 10 yards of sand, say, for the soloists. Uh, uh, they have to give their sculptures a name, and uh, they, how well the sculpture reflects the name that they, they've given. So a lot, of, uh, a lot of intricacies that the general public aren't aware of. It's only uh, 8 feet high, but we're doing a very expansive piece, lots of groundwork and lots of things to see and lots of things to carve. It's not very high, but it's big and bulky, and uh, there's going to be lots of uh, lily pads and uh, bulrushes and uh, f uh, pond things, marsh things, foliage, all kinds of groundwork, and it's going to look awesome after it's done. You know, usually you want to go really vertical and uh, uh, very steep, but it's, uh, we decided to just go a little safer this year and present a very good piece to the public. This, this piece is called Digger, and it's a story um, that my son and I read quite a bit, and it's about a dog who basically digs things up, and from the one angle, it looks like the dog is just simply digging up a bone, but when people come around to this side, it, they'll realize that it's actually part of this enormous skeleton of a dinosaur, so he's really locked on to something pretty, uh, pretty big. I think one of the things that attracts the people to come here, the locals as well as visitors from all over the world, is the fact that we have a very high caliber of sculptors working for us. And uh, the creations that they do are just absolutely fabulous. People are just blown away by the complexity of them, the height, the size, uh, the whimsical nature of many of them. And, uh, it's, it's a very impressive sight to see. You can experience the finished sand creations, see who the judges like best, and cast your own vote for People's Choice at Parksville's Community Park, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily until September 3rd. Visit www.parksvillebeachfest.ca. For The Daily in Parksville, I'm Kate Light. running here and right here which means it's getting heavy on the side it wants to blow out and press out so in all likelihood when this lower form comes off this section is going to blow out there's a big one right here so we're probably going to get this off the back end This is a bad thing going on here. That one's opened up pretty good already. Right? So it's just a, the mass, once the container's gone, it wants to spread out. So it's going to want to open up as well. Yeah.
Got it. I'm not a happy guy and I definitely need a margarita right now. <laughs> 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 Fallen gods or the fall of the Roman Empire or something here. So yeah. I'll do a head down here and I'm going to leave all these chunks back here like they went down. We'll leave this up here. I'll put an arm out here and the legs are going to be there. I'll finish carving it's those. fabulous legs. And, uh, it'll just be a collapsed piece. Excellent. And that'll be the finished piece. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we'll do it.